What are they doing, man? Like, what? This is unplayable. Who, like... How is this... How is this playable? Such a fun track as well. This is such a disappointment. They bring it in, and we locked up. We locked up the rear. That's gaining on him. Oh, I got a long lap penalty. This is looking decent. And the Yamaha of... What is that, Max Biaggi? He's off. Oh, we got someone off. That's... Carlos Checker on the Yamaha there. I think I accidentally just got the best start I've ever got there. We are struggling a bit on the pace here. Can we keep it on the road? No, we had to... Oh, it's not looking good. He gets the better of it. The Aprilia and the Honda are side by side. Rossi goes through. Can we follow him? I think we can. Oh, no! Right, we go once again. We go once again because we're going to finish this race. Let's go. We're on the Yamaha, the YZF 500. Come on, Luca. Again, we're around the outside. We seem to make up quite a bit of positions on this first corner, which is always good for me. Easy. Try not to go too wide. Try and keep the top speed up as we come round turn three into turn four. Nice and steady. Got the Suzuki in front of us. Honda looking up the inside. See if we can return that position back to him. Okay, maybe not. That's all right. Yeah, we've got turn eight here. Can we have a look at the inside, maybe? Oh, what a delicious looking move that was. All right, let's go. Top ten, I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay, and I just realised we were in second gear there. So, sorry, uh... Sorry to the Kajiva there for that little bump. Okay, that's easy on the throw. Bring it round. Get it nice and turned in. Not to overlock the brakes there. Okay, we uh, we didn't give them enough space, but you know we didn't we didn't murder him, which is the good thing. We go way wide here. Hopefully we'll be better on the brakes. Okay, could be way worse actually, that was decent. Our bike technically should be better in the corners and on brakes because of the, uh, the V4 engine configuration we have. There we go. That's why I seem to make up a lot of time under braking here, I feel. We've got the Yamaha of Norik Abe going around the Yamaha of... Who is that? Max Biaggi? He makes it around the outside. Let's see if we can follow him through. We have a look at least. Really got to be mindful of these tyres. Especially in parts of the track like this. But... As I said, this seems to be where our bike has an advantage. As we go light on the brakes... Okay, we have a factory teammate up there, up ahead. Norikabe. In the same Yamaha, let's bring it round. Can we keep it keep it on the inside? He has a look, he has the better line for this corner. Okay. It's decent racing between us, I'll give I'll give him that. Again, he slows down a bit there. Okay, lose a bit of time, but we instantly make it back up. We're on the slipstream and get a really good exit. All right, let's go through the gears. I'm not in a place to... 
Okay, he has the slipstream ahead, in fact, so we'll tuck back into that. I'm going to try and follow him through. I'm just going to be a bit reckless here. Okay, we go a bit wide. But the main thing is that we didn't fall off. Okay. It was a reckless move and it didn't work out, so let's try and uh, reconsider this move. Momentarily there into fifth gear as we bring it into uh, turn four. We've got the Yamaha of Max Biaggi just taking a quick peek there. Seems to be all over us there. So we need to get a move on. Probably should have got past that prettier into turn one there if I uh, played my cards a bit better. Coming into turn eight. Can we get past him into turn nine? Leave it in third for the engine braking. Perhaps. Ooh. Okay, I'm, I'm... I'm glad I didn't fall off there. I'm glad it was him. We get a nice speed boost there from, uh, from the Kajiva there. Okay, our race isn't over, and we're still way within the top ten. Okay. Keep it nice and smooth, keep the line tight. Light on the brakes. And then look for the exit. Okay, we lost, I think, maybe two positions there, so we've got the Honda there. Got the Honda and the Yamaha there, nicely in the slipstream. Okay, this is good. All we have to do is keep it on the track. This is a very good position for us. Okay, and we seem to be keeping it in fifth gear there. Which means we're finding extra speed. First gear for the left hander here. Find the exit and the drag race down to turn eight. Harder on the brakes. And you sort of have to have trust of the rider in front that he doesn't go too slowly through there. Because that could be quite bad for the uh, exit of the corner. Get ourselves a bit of a wheelie there, which doesn't help things. Okay, first gear, get it nice and slow so we don't go into that runoff. Okay, let's bring it round. Look for the exit. a good line to have. Okay, nice and close to the barrier there. Okay, four. Lap four completed. We're in the slipstream and it looks like we're going to have, a, have to make a move on this Honda here as the Yamaha seems to be doing the same. And he does. Can we do the same? Nice move. That was almost like a mirror move there. The, the Yamaha in front was going around the Honda. And uh, I was going around the Honda here. Okay, I decided to leave it in uh, fourth there. I'm not too confident with the high speed stuff, especially with the tyre where I just really want to keep the bike on the track. Nice and steady through here. We really don't need to make any risks for ourselves. Just keep it nice and smooth. Wait for the turn in. Find the power. Make it come to us. And yeah, we're really pulling up close to this Honda. And I really don't mind if he has a look around the outside. We did make a bit of a mistake there. Can we fight this? He's on the power earlier. 
He might he might have this position. We might have to give it to him. As long as we keep it on the track. Seem to get a better exit than him anyway, so we just overtake him by default. See if we can slip into the slipstream of the Honda in front. Seeing as we are a bit down on top speed, so we need the slipstream. I'm not looking to make a move here. Just looking to keep it on the track. Third gear, turn three. Keep it nice and nice and tidy here. Let's get fourth gear. Okay, fifth gear, very, very daring there. It's a nice line we got into turn four here. Damn, he's all over us. Nice. Tyres are really struggling here, so we've got to be really careful on the power delivery. As you can see, though, I even let off the throttle. Okay, he takes it very carefully into the hairpin here. Does he have a look at the inside? He might have the better line. Very close racing here to me and the Honda here. Third gear, keep it nice and clean. Bring it round. Oh, can we take the position from him? Wow, we actually took sixth place. And that was the that was the Spanish Grand Prix, everyone. We managed to finish the race, and uh, we weren't too far off the fastest lap of uh, Wayne Rainey there. He set a 145.7, we set a 145.8. So we were well within the pace there, it's just the consistency we uh, needed to worry about. Yeah, that's a result I'm happy with, sixth place. That was the 500cc uh, race around the Spanish Grand Prix of Catalonia. What an amazing track that was. And uh, it took us it took us a few times, but we got there in the end. And uh, I just love looking at these machines here. This wonderful V4 500cc two-stroke Yamaha. Look at that, especially with the Red Bull livery. Um, that is a very nice-looking motorcycle there. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, leave a comment down, and and share this video if you really liked it. Um, and uh, I'll do more of this. And uh, I'm thinking of doing a parallel series to this with the four strokes. So uh, let me know what you think about that. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.